We're like a dramatic 90s sitcom that couldn't fit it all in 21 minutes. Perfect! <laughs> to be continued. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. This is why I left BuzzFeed. I left BuzzFeed. Why I left BuzzFeed. Why I left BuzzFeed. I was at BuzzFeed. Hello darkness, my old friend. Almost. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> talking about the unforgiveness trap and it is a trap it's a trap we're gonna take the bait there's a word we keep saying it's offense take offense can i do quotations famous quotations that you've been getting wrong we're not talking about the opposite of defense of which jimmy butler's pretty good at both it is butler for the win yes offense is when we're offended and we're just we're ticked off at somebody. That word, offense, that comes from the Greek word, scandalon. I don't know how to say that. Is that how no, you say that's it? that's exactly how you say scandalon? it. Yeah. What does that mean? It actually means the bait. Someone wanted to trap an animal, cover a pit with branches. And you know this, we've seen this, Swiss Family Robinson. Put a piece of meat or bait or scandalon on top of the branches. They would want to walk over there, too much weight, boom. Satan uses the same bait with being offended to get us stuck. Yep. See, we think we're trapping the person who hurt us, but we're really the ones that are getting trapped. We think we're alone in this, but we're not. Jesus was tempted by the same things we were today. That is huge. Yeah. People don't understand that Jesus was tempted. Jesus went through everything that we went through. Yep. It's no different. He didn't have Instagram, but he had his own trouble. Man. Here are five different traps the enemy uses, and we're gonna show you that Jesus dealt with the same things. Betrayal. You got a best friend who lied, a spouse who didn't stay forever, or someone that we confided in and they broke that trust. Remember, Jesus was betrayed by Judas, a trusted friend and one of his disciples. This is literally the guy who, who sold him out. So how about when we're falsely accused, misunderstood, or someone's gossiping about us? Jesus was falsely accused and he was indicted in court. Think about whenever we're rejected by a spouse, a friend, someone like a boss, mentor, or someone even at church. Jesus was rejected by Peter, one of his disciples and closest companions. How many times? Three. Three times. And he that was like the day him. he yeah. said, I would never yeah. denounce you, Jesus. Number four, um, when we're abused, whether it's like emotionally, physically, verbally. Jesus was abused. The scripture says he was beaten, tortured, cursed, and crucified on a cross. How about whenever we're humiliated? We're haunted by our, like an embarrassing moment that we can't get past, or somebody puts something on social media of us, yep. we're ashamed or disgraced by it. Yep. Jesus was crucified and he was disgraced in public. There were huge crowds of people that were gathered all around. So you honestly kind of go, why did he have to go through all this yep. stuff? Hebrews chapter two says it really, really clearly. That's why he had to enter into every detail of human life. Then when he came before God as high priest to get rid of all the people's sins, he would have already experienced it all himself, all the pain, all the testing, and he would be able to help where help was needed. Going to the Bible and looking at his story and how he handled things can be an incredible indicator of how we should handle things. Jesus had to go through everything that we had to, so when he stood in front of God the Father, he could say, all, this, all the sin and everything that I took on me is worth it, and I know exactly what they're dealing with. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for knowing exactly what I'm dealing with right now, what we're all dealing with. Thanks for helping me not to get trapped by the enemy and to stay clear of the bait of being offended. In Jesus' name, amen. You never see us again. It's because Tyler got us arrested for jumping on a dinosaur. Whoa. I'm Chris Pratt. I'm famous now. <laughs> Way more famous than I was on Parks and Rec. Always knows when I'm trying to film by myself. He always like jumps in the frame because. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs>